Yeah. yeah. Ping, 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 ping. Oh. I have to do that fucking voice. Ping, 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 ping. Were we recording before that? No, we've never recorded ever. Without my consent. Oh. Listen, it's not the first time you've had a video on the internet that you didn't want on there. <laughs> Brandon, Don't pretend she said the c word. Oh, oh. protect Damn yourself. It. All right, Emmy. Do I have your consent to continue? Mm, sure. <laughs> yeah, you heard it. It's on the free show. <laughs> yeah. Or video the- recording. Video recording. Video recording only. <laughs> okay. All right. Don't be gross, guys. Don't be, yeah, don't be weird. Related. Yeah. Okay. We ready to get the show going, my friends. Yeah. Yeah. Right. It's gonna be a re- silent, a silent one, right? Because yeah, I didn't we're... give consent for the audio. Ooh. That's a good point. Emmy, before we hit record, do I have consent for the audio? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> we're doing Otherwise, video you would have been muted the whole time. <laughs> that would have been my nightmare. <laughs> that would have been hysterical. Yeah, Keith, that's a great point. Emmy? <laughs> no, it's just this void of silence. <laughs> uh, all right. Let's go, guys. Ready? Three, two, one. I remembered my prop this time. Did you? Yeah. What do I need it? to pull it? Do I need to pull it out now? You're gonna whip it out. <laughs> Some kind of Pillsbury thing? What is that? Biscuits? Biscuits. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> Welcome to the Avengers Podcast, where we assemble weekly to binge the MCU and all things nerd, wanna... old and new. And you can find us on Facebook, Instagram, X, Threads, TikTok, at Avengers Podcast. One word, ladies and gentlemen. A V I N G R S Podcast. Give You're us a so like, hoping. comment, and let us know what you think of the show. Look how hoping he is. You want to support the show? Patreon.com forward slash Avengers Podcast. One dollar today gets you a pre-show banter, access to episodes not found anywhere else, and Discord. Patreon.com forward slash Avengers Podcast. Better milk this your host. I can't do it alone. My name you're is gonna, Brandon. You're gonna milk those biscuits, I bet. <laughs> I unmuted you at the best time. Amy, how are you doing? <laughs> I'm sitting on biscuits. Hey, you know what? Biscuits be biscuiting. Uh, Keith, I think we got your first word, so we're just going to move on. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. How you doing, Keith? I'm doing good. I was going to say Skoden or Skoden, which is from watching Reservation Dogs. It means let's go. Wait, Skoden? Okay. Skoden. Yeah. Skoden. Okay. Yeah, All right. Skoden. Good deal. K O D E N. Yeah. Well, let's go indeed. Because yeah. we're here with the finale of Echo. Echo episode <sighs> five. Guys, this this series ended five weeks ago. Took us five weeks. We're here. <laughs> uh, it is Echo episode five, Maya. So if you have not watched episode five of Echo, please do not listen any further because we are going to spoil it. We're going to give our thoughts a deep dive into the episode and everything in between. So please don't listen any further. We'll catch you on the other side. We'll we'll see you when you, you, you've you watched it. Hey, and if you don't care, hey, I just want to hear the Avengers. I don't really want to watch Echo. Cool, you're in the right place. But here we go, guys. We're going to spoil it. Emmy has been Team Echo this whole time. No offense. I'm not going to start with Emmy because I know Emmy's just straight up. I, I like this, and I like the finale, and they didn't show me shit, but I thought it was good. Uh, and, and me... I know my feelings, so I really don't want to go first. Uh, so, Keith, you're going to start yeah. us out, my friend. What did you think of the finale of Echo? Okay. So there were two things that I kind of knew going into this finale, as much as I try to avoid spoilers. So one of them came from a friend of mine, Matt, who comments on our YouTube quite a bit. Shout out. Matt, Matt. you're awesome, by the way. <laughs> he's, he is awesome. I really um, do love Matt. He's He's got great comments. Wait, he, did we give a spoiler I, alert? Yes. 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 Did you okay. not listen? I'm sorry. I went through like the 10 minute spoiler warning. How the hell did you not hear that? Well, sometimes I tune you out, man. Sometimes Jesus I tune my Christ. students out. Wait, Amy got an Apple Watch today and she has not been the same since. She's even more Look. ADHD than she was previously. Amy. Do you see who's on it? Do you see? No, you, you're not in frame. Spongebob. Oh. 
Hold on. I can I can put you in frame. Do it again. Who's on? Hold on. Is that is that Daddy? That's, that's Daddy, Daddy Moon Knight. That's, that's that Daddy Moon Mr. Knight. Knight. Mr. Knight. Mr. Knight. All right. Well, yes, Emmy. Uh, while you were looking at Daddy Knight, we gave a spoiler warning. I wasn't even looking. We're okay. We're okay to proceed. Keith, sorry for the interruption. What was your spoiler-filled thoughts of Echo well, Episode 5? Okay, so so Matt had heard that what we were saying was like, Biscuits is going to die. And like we're, he's like, you guys are so wrong about the show. And like without <laughs> revealing. Then he says to me, oh, and then there's that one moment where that guy kills a bunch of people. And I was thinking in my head, Henry? And I was like, really excited. I was like, what? He's going to... But uh, it turns out he was just fucking with me. Um, <laughs> so thank you, Matt. I appreciate your candor. Um, yeah, and the other thing I knew about this finale was that it was spoiled to me online that that Kingpin got healed in some kind of way that was very upsetting to fans, especially diehard Kingpin fans. They were like annoyed by that. He's not he's not himself anymore. He's not the 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 badass that we know. He's nerfed in some way. But I, I, honestly, I'm excited to get into it. I, I really enjoyed this episode. I watched it once. I thought it was good. I watched the assembled behind the scenes. Uh, and that in itself was like a healing moment for me. I feel like Maya did like the hashtag symbol on my forehead and it healed my brain. And then I watched it a second time and loved it all the more. So I'm really stoked to talk about this finale and the series as a whole. All right. Well, we will go to the descending opinion because i know emmy liked it as well we'll get to emmy in just a moment however wasn't a fan i i really did not think that this finale stuck in the slightest for me um i i really thought this series progressively got worse as the series went on i lost interest kingpin did not feel like kingpin there was no stakes no one died it was just a very run of the bill now she's got power she's got a suit and she's it found a way for TVMA to follow the same formula we've seen day in and day out. And to me, I wanted something fresh. I wanted something exciting. I really didn't feel it from here. Yes, there's original characters. And yeah, the first two episodes, damn, yeah, this is going to take a turn. This is going to be the MCU in a way we haven't seen it before. Besides a couple of deaths and, some, you know, it was just it's the same MCU. No one no one dies and i told you i'd be disappointed last week if no one died and i am i'm very disappointed you have this huge you have a huge threat in kingpin to feel like a huge threat and i don't think you nerfed him i think you just fucked up yeah i don't think you just made you didn't do anything with him i don't even think you nerfed him. i think you just it it's it's marvel and i hate to use that as a criticism because i love the marvel cinematic universe i love it my favorite series of movies, favorite series uh, that I've ever seen in my entire life. But they're just not branching out in a way that I would expect them to at this point. I feel like that we're just hitting repeat on stories and just insert character A, insert character B, tie to family, tie to family life or home life, give cool suit, give cool powers, repeat finds herself in the end cool i i just i wanted maya to be different i wanted maya to feel like a different character she is unique she is a badass yet she got on the cart of the mcu and stayed on that cart the entire time from episode three on and it just felt Oh, we've seen this before. And that's disappointing because I wanted Maya to be a lot more than this. And uh, I thought they set her up great. They didn't land it at all. I was very disappointed. I can see why this got rated as low. And to start out with, I was confused by the ratings. By the end of it, I'm kind of shocked it's as high as 60 and 61%, to be perfectly frank. Not a fan. Not a fan. I, like I said, it just kind of fell off. What about this episode was unique? I don't know. I'm curious. I've, I'm obviously missing something. I know I'm going to be outnumbered in this episode. So I'm curious to hear both of your points as we go scene by scene on what I'm missing. Because I just, I just didn't feel this episode at all. Anyway, so that's my thoughts. Echo. All right. Well, maybe next time. All right. So, uh, Amy, what do you think of Echo episode five? 
you are you're making some valid points i do think and i think that being on the podcast i see those points a lot more talking to you about them like week week to week like it it has developed the points and i've internalized them and i can see where you're coming from honestly overall i really i enjoyed everything i love that they were uh representing another culture that's not seen very often i loved that there was female leads um it was the first one in mature or ma whatever that is mature right yeah mature audiences mature audience i was like why is it just what we can like it's for mom paul mom paul <laughs> um <laughs> it hits some really great themes um i still liked this episode I'm sorry for what I'm about to say because the sentence that's coming out of my mouth it doesn't sound right taken out of context <laughs> I'm scared if we have to edit something I'm so it, scared it gave me Twilight it gave me Twilight in that it promised something amazing and just didn't completely deliver I expected this finale to be so much more than what it was i expected a lot more from kingpin i i think i expected a little bit more from maya i you know in twilight whenever they have that big battle in the last uh yes. movie yeah. and mm -hmm. then Kendall, and you're Harvey like you're like battle. oh this is awesome and then it's like oh it was all a vision oh fuck oh ah! <laughs> yeah <laughs> forgot about that it just totally wastes it it's like yeah, i forgot by the about way, that too i mean that's a really good call out i forgot that's wow. what could be we could yeah. pull heads off vampires like a little ken doll like a yes uh, but no it didn't happen but it was it was like yeah because i i remember being like i've read these books and this did not happen but this is awesome <laughs> <laughs> um but it was it was that feel from the trailer to the finale i got that feeling it was like oh it was an illusion. It was a mirage. <laughs> tricks are what whores do for money. Ah! I do ah, illusions. I just, I just want to, just real quick. Whenever I think you're gonna zig, Emmy, you, you zag, and I, I appreciate the. I think that was strong. Thank feedback. you. Thank I, you. I, I really like that take. I really do. I still have. I know you have more thoughts. Sorry, I just really. Uh, just a little bit more. No, no, no. Oh, Go no, ahead. I'm Go ahead. Sorry. No, I just wanted to say. I like that you're calling that out. I think you, that is such a valid point. I know yes. you like this series, but I really- I still, <laughs> yes. I just want to commend you there. I thought that was really still, strong. Still really like it. It didn't hold up to my, what I expected the show based on the trailer to yeah. be. Um, it, she she healed her family. I, I thought that was a cool moment. I like that she was kind of like, I'm not a part of your legacy. I'm a part of their legacy. And she really got in touch with her Choctaw roots. So I just, I appreciated that, but it was kind of like, eh. yeah. 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 I, it no. was just like, oh, ah, my expectations were so high and I'm not disappointed. I'm just. No, you, you're not upset. You're just disappointed. I'm not, I'm not finished. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Right. You want to keep going. Yeah. 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 No, I'm with you. I'm with okay. You. That's, Sorry. that's, that's strong. No, I love that. That's great feedback. Keith. Did you I, I was just going to say a rebuttal it before. I know we got Rotten Tomatoes to do still, but I, I the way that Emmy's talking about her, our expectations were high. I feel like right before, or maybe it was just last episode, my expectations went super low because I started thinking about how much this, what this show could have been if it was the original planned out six episodes. And I've been thinking about that most of the time, uh... Uh, watching it, thinking okay, was it really better or was it actually, because you know it was, wasn't was the director and writers that would come in and change it. It was the studio and it was the producers. So how much could they really be improving it or did they look at it and make a better product for us to, to take in in five episodes? There's no way to know. We'll never know. But right. it, it did drop my expectations a lot. So when I saw the finale, I knew it was going to be bloated. I knew we were going to get a lot of shit just done, solved, fixed, whatever. Um, it, it was kind of, I would say good, not great. And then when I watched, like I say, I watched the assembled. Did either of you watch the assembled episode? 
I no. haven't had a chance to. And I need to watch I need to watch that and I need to watch the the Marvels one came out recently too. I would say it's worth watching before our Avengers assemble yeah. episode yes. next Friday. Um mm-hmm. because it is really uh, it puts things into perspective a lot more. It's probably the most interesting assembled episode I've seen in a long time because it not only deals with the the uh, indigenous side of of the research they did but also the asl stuff so it's very cool and for someone who likes behind the scenes stuff i i haven't been this impressed in a while as far as you know needing to see how they did it but what's up do you think we need an avengers assemble though to make a show better (laughs) true good point uh i think it i think it just fucked with my expectations to the point of my second watch of the finale, I was thinking of the whole season as a whole, and and that's where I'm at now, and that yeah. that is what's, I, what's affecting it. I do I, get your points. I, I do think that Kingpin was uh, lackluster. I do think that they, there's a lot of things they could have done differently and done better. And I'm that's what I'll always wonder is what was the six episode version of this show, and did they make the right choice by cutting one down? It's just yeah, but yeah, yeah it, it made me like the show more because of. Uh, just me really not liking episode five i guess was my main reason yeah i did i liked this episode a lot more on my second watch i will say that i need to watch it a second time so i can hate on it more um but no i just uh no i'm joking uh i (laughs) i it's funny because um and and admittedly i i fell asleep in the middle of this episode like i actually woke up and had to rewind and watch it i mean it was it was a tough but i was also traveling for work i was tired as fuck and was no viewing no, soured no, by the fact that you no. didn't get to have the domino's pizza and sit in the hotel my viewing was soured food. because this story just <laughs> sucked uh no i'm just kidding <laughs> it didn't suck it, it was just below expectations it's so funny keith talks about like hey my expectations were so low from episode five that's why episode or excuse me episode four that's why episode five that with the avengers is, or avengers jesus right, right he assembled um you know rose it up to me i just felt like i was on a, on a cart just going straight downhill the entire time i was like just this is this is everything i worried the finale would be is exactly what the finale was like wow. everything she's gonna get the power she's gonna get the suit she's gonna follow the thing there's gonna be no stakes and it's gonna be very cliche kingpin's not gonna pose a real threat everything i was like please prove me wrong please were they not and, were and they not- sorry i mean i just never felt like it didn't it never any of my fears that I was like, please don't go this direction. All of them, they went that direction. And I was like, and, and I was fearing it because I was genuinely like, I, I was like, this is, this is the Marvel thing. They're going to do the Marvel thing. And I, in the back of my mind, I think I even told myself episode F, like just silently, like, Oh, they'll, they'll pull something out, Brandon. They're going to throw kind of a, something a little out of left field that you're not ready for. They'll kill and, biscuits. And they didn't. They didn't do any of it. And I, that's what bummed me out. There was like four or five things they could have just done. And they went exactly the way I saw it. And maybe that's also just watching these movies and these shows repeatedly for years. And I can kind of see it before it happens. But it's really extremely disappointing when you are hoping for something to just be different than what you're perfectly expecting. And that sucks. I get it. They weren't cooking steaks at the barbecue at the end. That's yeah, yeah. That's true. That's true. I mean, that's a good. That's a very good point. Well, I, mean, I saw steaks. No, no, no. That's perfect. Thank you. There's there's two criticisms specifically that you've said that I 100 percent agree with. One, the TVMA thing. What? Why did you give this TVMA rating when we got TVMA? Like, what did I say? TV mixed American stars. Music Awards. Yeah. TVMA. Uh, <laughs> why give it a mature rating and make it the first thing and not if you're if they did go back and do reshoots to try and make that a bigger selling point i mean beyond vicky's death vicky's death I vicky think um was... by the way emmy was uh vicky was the character in episode three that uh, i know well now now that y'all shamed me for it i, uh, I uh, shout that. out to episode four emmy who forgot about vicky <laughs> Who's Vicky? <laughs> you know what? He doesn't even matter anymore. He's dead. Yeah. No. <laughs> Violently, I'll say it. No, but like, yeah. like to, to give it an that and the and beating then... that the ice cream man took. Mm-hmm. Those True. are both pretty True. brutal. True. Mm. And that, like that again. And that the spine wasn't breaking really in the first episode. Yes, that that's probably like it, it, to me. It's like 
go, you know, the way the thing that we love about Deadpool when he gets that R rating is it gets played with to the nth degree. You want to see yeah. the R rating in an MCU thing or a Marvel thing, and so he does that, and that's great. That's, and that's, that's so my, you. That's what does he say when he? There. He's like. My boyfriend said this was a rom com, and he just turned that guy into a kebab. <laughs> into yeah. a fucking kebab. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, so, so, th- so I will agree with you that, that on that one, Brandon, for sure. Uh, another thing I'll say is the more MCU we get, the more we expect, and we're putting yeah. everything through this lens of they've made so many great things, and that's all we're gonna that uh, that is what we have to compare it to. And there are people who just join or they just check out one show at a time or something and they see a quality show being made compared to other shit. And and MCU has a, a great uh, form format or, or formula for making at least high quality production value, high quality many things. And they, they put a shit ton of that in this series. But you're right. I, we'll never know what the sixth episode version is. And there are quite a few cons i have coming up that will explore and, and i think it's also they've made so much good shit but it's also they've made so much where it you know like now it's and i said it before and i'll keep it brief it just is starting to feel very formulaic mm-hmm. where it felt original and fresh at one point well when you kind of copy and paste and, and tweak a couple little things it still feels like i'm looking at the same drawing just with a couple little nuances that are different you know, I, I mean, you could insert any character in this, you know, and it wouldn't, to me, it doesn't, yes, the, the Choctaw and that amazing culture, but, and also, you know, but the, still. The disabilities. That the yes, exactly. Oh, yeah. exactly. Yeah. But yeah. instead of, it, 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 it never felt like it highlighted those to me in a way that felt unique. It just felt like, hey, these are a couple of cool things about her. Here's an MCU hero. Here's a couple little, you know, it didn't feel like yeah, it was yeah. interwoven into a character that felt new and fresh. It just felt like, hey, here's her two qualities that makes her different. Yeah. So you hero, you know, and it, it's just like, that's where uh, that maybe is a controversial that. thing to say, but like, it, it just doesn't feel like it was interwoven enough where, oh man, Echo is a little, I've never seen them do something like this before. Yeah. You know, it just felt like, oh, okay, this is another hero. Okay, it's cool. Like the surprise, the surprise that we got was the simple fact that we were getting a show about a indigenous, deaf, and um, uh, an amputee. Amputee. Yeah. All three of those things. That's a surprise. Okay. Well, we knew all three of those things going in, and then you gave us a typical Marvel show. Right. I, I get the. I get the under. I understand the the complaint there. I yeah. yeah yeah. I think it's a it's a fair point. I don't know that I completely agree, just because it is so unique from anything that we have seen before i mean we got a different culture from miss marvel um and we've got uh a deaf superhero from um uh, eternals so like sure. but like this is this is more like more unique i don't know that's not yeah, no it, that's not well, a qualifier that i want to stick three, in front of that they explored well especially two of those three things because the character in the comics is not is not missing a leg. They purely added that in because of a Lockwa, which is so cool. But oh, they yeah. didn't explore those that as much as they explored the indigenous side of things and the the deaf side of things more. Like, like those her comic were, book character. Those were done really cool in the series, but the story itself was was Marvel. The, yeah. yeah, and it was the yeah, and heard. it was more the focus than anything so- else. Yeah. So before we go to Rotten Tomatoes, because we're going to dive into Rotten Tomatoes and then kind of go into our scene by scene breakdown. <clears throat> if you're on the YouTube, you already see it below us. However, if you're not, we are going to give a recommendation. Twitch.tv forward slash the Avengers podcast. We are going to be live next Friday, February 16th at uh, 7 p.m. 7 p.m. We are going to be live and we are going to be streaming our thoughts on both What If and Echo. So we're going to make a post on Patreon very, very shortly. So if you are a patron of ours, please comment your thoughts on what if and or echo, and we'll feature you on the show. We'll read your comments live on air. And also, if you want to join us, you want to chat with us live, you want to, oh, I've never, I want to talk with Emmy, Brandon and Keith, we will be there. So check us out, twitch.tv forward slash Avengers podcast, subscribe, turn a notification on. We will be live. Set a reminder, February 16th, 7 p.m. Come talk what if and echo with us. We'd love to have you. 
quick little shameless plug there. Thank you so much. Um, Amy, what's our Rotten Tomatoes looking like? All right. I, I'm just going to cut it to y'all straight. Uh, hey, same. <laughs> it stayed the same. I think it's finally leveled out. We're far okay. enough out that everything stayed the same. It's Critics... been 10 years since Echo released, so it's about <laughs> yeah. time. It's all just, yeah. All right. Critics okay. are at uh, 70% audiences have landed at 61 percent imdb is at 6.1 and 62 percent of google users like this show okay so officially officially uh i can't even say that stand wrong. In, standing on business good deal all right guys we're, we're gonna jump into uh our echo episode five which was titled i said it at the beginning but just in case you missed it maya this is I episode did. five maya and yeah she missed the spoiler warning as well by the way spoiler alert ahead if you have not watched episode oh five, shit i haven't watched it you know, oh my god um so i'm just gonna spoil this right out of the gate Maya kills a woodpecker oh yeah as yeah. literally my first note maya kills a woodpecker as a child now Killers? the woodpecker is not a child. Injures, injures, oh, injures. Yeah, that's fair. Okay, kids, kids know not what they do. Oh, yeah, I don't, I, I, Maya oh, straight up lied. <laughs> Maya straight up lied. She's like, it's hurt. I found it. it fell from a tree. This uh, bird, this bird that can fly, fell out of a tree. <laughs> and I love her mom's like. What you did you really do to it, <laughs> you shit? Yeah, you little shit. And Maya's like, hey. <laughs> I wanted to see if I could hit it. And that honestly is such a little kid thing. I wanted to see if I could do it. I did it. And I was like, fuck. <laughs> like, I yeah. I think we've all, if you haven't had the, I had a dumbass moment. Uh, there was a candle. <laughs> Just one? I had more than one. But this is the dumbass moment I'm talking this about right week? here. There was, guys, I was a kid. I was a kid. Fuck off. Right, 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 right. Fuck, okay. fuck, fuck you both. I, there was a candle. And I remember... For some reason, I had a napkin in my hand and my mom always had like candles lit and it was nighttime. And I, I put up like the napkin over the candle, like way above it. And it was making this cool light on the ceiling. And I thought that was the coolest fucking thing. All fucking napkin went up in flames in my hand. And no fucking, way. Yeah. And I had to get a big glass of water to put it out. But anyway, there was a little burn spot on the carpet. And, I'll, and my mom's like, what the fuck were you doing? I'm like, I wanted to see the cool lights. I wanted to see if it would make anything cool. She's like, you set the fucking house on fire almost. I'm like, yeah, sorry. I just wanted to see what I'd do. I'm having a child in six weeks. What the fuck? Anyway, um, so yeah, it's, you do stupid shit. You do, I wanted to see nearly as flammable as they used to be. It's okay, man. That's a good, that, no, that's, that is advice. absolutely not don't, true. Don't take Keith's advice there. Don't listen to him. He's lying. He's yeah. He, not true right there. They used to paint the insides of houses with lead paint. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's metal. It used to be worse. That's I metal's not flammable. It metal is yeah, flammable. Yeah, but latex. My is... god, right, don't I'm... take any flammable <laughs> advice from Keith and Amy. Don't do it. Anyway, I could relate to little Maya. I was like, yeah, you want to see if you can I set a roll of paper towel on fire on the roll and you know what my thought was as it was catching? Oh gosh. And it just the fan kept catching, yeah. Just keep, keep, and then I threw and it fan all the flames, day. yeah, Ugh. yeah, yeah. Just, yeah, just grew and grew. Oh my god! Well, they my... invented the roll so perfectly that it would roll off as opposed to away. So it was like that was just giving. It was brilliant on the roll people part. Good job, roll people. Because but they wanted them like, to catch on fire. No, no, they just wanted more paper towel to be readily available, not for flames, uh, but for not for flames with drying needs. See, yeah. I see. I when I was in college, I was making pasta one time, and I thought it was genius, and I broke like the spaghetti noodles, and I put them on a plate before I put them into the the boiling water so that they would all cook evenly. And so, right. whenever I poured the the plate of noodles, broken noodles, into the pot. Um, none of none of them basically made it into the pot, and they all caught fire on the burner. <laughs> oh no! How yeah. old were my, you? Uh, college. Because we're talking how we were children, and you talked about. <laughs> And you no, were... and my roommate, my roommate came into the kitchen, and I, with noodles on fire, I hadn't yelled for help yet. I was just going. You're gonna fix this yourself, of course. <laughs> Trying uh, to blow them out. So, Emmy, can I ask a question? Um, yes. In college, when you set noodles on fire and you started to blow on the noodles that were on said fire, um, 
were you all were you uh collectively were you 100 percent sober yeah oh my god Uh uh-huh yep it was during the day that's completely worse. sober. I was trying to give you an out, but never and, mind. And and I've had the fire department called on me cooking twice. That is not one of the times. <laughs> oh wow! So yeah, uh, yeah allegedly. If we you should smell have you... something burning, you're probably smelling Emmy cooking wherever yeah. you're at. Yeah. There's a reason that my microwave was on top of my stove for over a year. I remember. My that. stove was unusable. To remind you not to use this. You don't not fucking use, use it. Um, okay, so- sorry. Oh, I okay. I had a really profound thought while I was while I was watching this. Um, the episode <laughs> opens on on ripples in a lake. It also closes with well, it doesn't close with it, but like the one of the last scenes is the ripples on the lake. Yeah, R- ripples are just they're just water echoes. <laughs> yeah, they are. See, Brandon, you're wrong. <laughs> the show's great. Ripples are water echoes, son. I Learn about it. have never been more ashamed to be on this show in my <laughs> entire life than this moment <laughs> right now. Not that only wasn't... this profound moment by Emmy, but Keith coming in like, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Why was it? That wasn't high. <laughs> All right, guys. That's, that should be their. That should be their motto. We Ripple. make that make that into a T-shirt. Hey, ripples, ripples, liquid, liquid echoes, (laughs) liquid water echoes, Uh, liquid water echoes. That makes sense. Okay, so hey, the energy's humming. The shock taw, uh, they, they, you know, this is, yeah, anyway, the the energy from the shock taw, they, they, this hummingbird is okay. Everything, woodpecker, woodpecker. Why did I say hummingbird? Oh, energy humming is what I put. That's why I got hummingbird. I was like, why the hell did I say hummingbird? But the energy is humming. From her mom to the bird, to the bird doesn't change the bird into a hummingbird. No. Just makes and you, you the can't woodpecker say come the back. Energy's been pecking. That's weird. You can. Yeah, you can ever have a it. night where the energy is pecking? Ever I'm have that? feeling peckish right now, and I'm not. All right. If you're turned on, you're not alone. Uh, <laughs> join us, Avengers After Dark, next Friday. Twitch.tv forward slash Avengers. Seven p.m. I have to have something then. <laughs> All right, slut. Anyway, so uh, <laughs> the heartbeat stop. We go to the car crash. The heartbeat stops. I heard that this time. Did we hear that in the original? I don't remember. I'm sorry. I have. Very... I don't think we did because I I, I took we... note of the fact that the subtitle said heartbeat stops. Okay, cool. Yeah. And um, and we see uh, yeah. But the, anyway, just a flashback to Maya as a child, and and and. Trying to see if she could hit woodpeckers. And her mom's practical. So there you go. Can I just point out something that I noticed today? Just because whenever I watched this after we recorded last week, I didn't watch the previously on because I was like, ooh, go to see the finale. Um, (laughs) And so, like, as quick as I could, I skipped through everything. Not everything, but like anything I could skip, I skipped. Oh, I get it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, But this time they had uh, Maya's father's death and maya's mother's death in such close succession that they all in all instances except for her father had like the same kind of like markings of blood on their face Mm. wow during both deaths i did not So like her mom had no i'm sorry Wait, wait wait okay so when her dad dies he like puts the the blood on her face in the same way that it looks like her mom has it on her face whenever she dies. Oh, my goodness. And then I also noticed later that Maya also looks like she has a little bit of that as well. I you know what? I'm I'm reaching. I'm stretching. It's your hey, time, you'll. You know what? Thanks for joining us for uh stretch hour. Um but we're going <laughs> to uh, Chula, we're back to the same thing. Uh she's here for business. Don't give a fuck about his feelings. And uh Oh, know. it's not that. It's so different this time. You crazy. You it is crazy, different Brandon. because he saved her sewing machine. Yeah. And even cleaned and oiled it. Because yeah. he, knew, he knew she'd come back for it. What if he she lube, did? he lubed it up for? Her. What if she didn't come <laughs> back? What if she didn't? What what then then what? 
you know because i'm assuming it's been years at some point he's like man i should probably fucking sell that sewing machine she ain't coming back for it he'd forget well, about it a... like every retailer does they forget about shit that's in the back with a nice blanket on it they don't i don't no, know because as soon as she's back. like hey sewing machine he's like gosh you boo and he went and grabbed <laughs> He didn't forget. Meaningful. He didn't forget. It's meaningful. And who's going to buy an old ass sewing machine? I would. Sure. Well, the other thing, too, is we got That's the fair. parallel of the scene before where they're having their talk and she's very cold with him. But, you know, kind of trying mm -hmm. to warm up and he's not giving up. He's really not. And he said, her, put her in her place. He said, maybe you should just fucking listen for a second. He didn't say it like that, but still, uh, would have been more TVMA than this finale. Wait, was. I, I'm right. sorry. I think I think I hate this show now. If that's what happened, <laughs> yeah. maybe hey. you should listen. Why don't you fucking Be listen weird. every fucking once in a while? <laughs> um, and then she had that moment with Maya, where Maya yelled at her and got her, her, you know, the the weight off her shoulders, the chip off her shoulder in a yeah. way. Right. Yeah. And then uh, she shut right up and. This is the new Chula. This is the the her coming back with a little oh. bit more warmth towards Scully because he was and going awful. Yeah, and going back to her art. Yeah, yeah. I need, I need, I need. Just give me thirty seconds, guys. Just need, just need a little bit of a, just a little no. perk. Give it to me, Keith. Okay. Need, all right. Thank you. How the fuck does Chula not have any idea who Kingpin is? what he looks like in this universe and how connected she felt to the very first episode where obviously, Hey, I know the shit you're into. Hey, you're going to New York. It was such a jarring moment. And maybe it was just me and my presumption. Like I was thinking, but when he was like, Hey, and she's like, Oh, your, your necklace uh, or no, like, or, no, excuse me. Your necklace it's american sign language it means i love you you know <laughs> like and my granddaughter she's just like blah, blah blah you know someone bad is like this whole fuck am i thinking the world is dumb or am i just expecting too much like i was blown away at this point that okay chula's just like yep it's my granddaughter she's deaf and like it's just like wait what Yep, uh, my granddaughter Maya. She's coming from New York, don't you know? And I'm like, when did this whole show get? Stupid? When did she end up in Minnesota? She's I, from Oklahoma, Brandon. They're not. My just whole they point have is farm. why did Chula just fucking watch the first episode? Who the fuck is? I this? think you know what? Okay, here's what I if, think. I think there's two writers that just wrote two different Chulas. It feels, nothing, it feels not it doesn't feel cohesive at all and it also feels like the dumb relative that gives everything away and then they're captive it's like mm. what why can can characters especially side characters that feel smart just be smart why do they have to always just have some level of dumbassery to them it just feels so stupid sorry you go first Demi. get him uh, okay. all right i think Hey, I was just stunned by that. I'm sorry. Put your watch away. You're no Get longer allowed Apple to gets... wear the Apple Watch while recording. It's making your camera freeze. It is the watch. It's the watch. It really is. I feel like it happened. No, both. that was the phone. Oh, oh. okay, cool. All right. Okay, we're cool. We're <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I can get distracted. You know, by the everything phone. dropped down. I'm like, yeah, that's cool. This is your phone. Okay. Yeah. Um, I. It's not on your so... wrist. <laughs> I thought that. Uh, after Maya kind of stood up to Chulo, that this was kind of her being like, damn, she's a, she's a fighter. I respect her, and I, I'm, like, proud of her. Yeah. I'm not yeah. asking her to be proud or not. I'm asking the well, no, I think that, that there's that, a and that's why she told kingpin, and she has no fucking clue. That's why she told, she's, like, proud of her right now. And that's why she told Kingpin about her. I'm not the the my point is not she should be proud or she shouldn't be proud. It just this doesn't feel like I've never seen you before. I don't know who the hell you are. Let me just tell you everything about this. 
it just feels like there's you know there's an imminent threat you've talked to henry you've talked to everybody you know what yeah all right all right all right that's a good you've point. worn good the point. whole fucking time and then this is like hey stranger let me tell you a little bit about my criminal drug lord granddaughter who just came back from New York and has is wanted by several people and I've never seen you before. Let me just tell and you seem like a little intimidating. Let me just tell you all about her. Not because you're not proud or proud. That to me is not the point. All right. Yeah. The all right. All right. All right. It's just like, here's the deck of cards. Let me fucking tell you. I've got two fours and two sixes. Here's my hand. Do you want to, you know, I just, what? Keith, help me out. All right. I got, I got a, I got a, I got a devil's advocate or like an angel and I will like not accept here. devil's advocate. I will accept logic. I am not going to, okay. it's well, so, but not, it's these fingers. Here's my two not, sides. I don't want to have to stretch to make this work in my brain. And I feel angel like that's guys. Two. All right. All right. One, I yes. think it is very jarring, especially in the years that we've had recently, where not only are people in their phones, not really interacting like this. Middle fingers down. We're trying to be a middle fingers down. We're trying to be a family friend of the podcast. All right. Back to red rum fingers. Um, the <laughs> the so one, I do understand how it's jarring because people don't socialize in a public setting like this very much anymore. And maybe they do in some parts of the world, but it's not something I've seen very often where people at the post office suddenly strike up a conversation like this. That is weird. Secondly, I'll say I'm not sure what is and what isn't supposed to be. I understand that the Daredevil Netflix series is supposed to be canon right now. And to me, that means that Kingpin should be someone people know as a villain and mm. should be someone people are have heard of before and definitely someone that chula should have heard of if all of that is canon and if that's true then yeah chula is stupid in this scenario um what i don't understand is why people like kate bishop didn't know about kingpin why other like there's other people that should have known or heard of the big guy and if that's not really clear yet because of it having not been canon until recently, maybe they didn't think of that. But yeah, it is weird. I'll give you that. It is very strange that she didn't kind of clue in. Not only is this guy a very noticeable and meaningful interaction I had at the post office today, uh, but he asked a lot of really spe specific and suspicious questions. <laughs> yeah. So yeah. If, if you'd heard of or even knew what Maya was going through with her crime boss kind of thing going on in New York... You should have probably assumed that something was up. Yeah, but. this this seems like a New York crime boss. Maybe I shouldn't tell him everything. <laughs> all right, I can see that. Okay, all right, all right. Once I again, do... the Chula in episode one and two does not feel anything like this one at all. It doesn't. And that's the most jarring thing. I was like, Chula's in on some shit. This is okay. I'm curious to see where this goes. And she just by episode five is the clueless grandma. And that's like, mm -hmm. damn. What a waste of a character. That's that's just my opinion. I'm sorry. What a waste. I think she was she was intriguing in the first two episodes. <laughs> Last episode, like I just come that on. That is a nitpick. That is a nitpick of mine of the show in general. Yeah. Straight up it's critique of mine, man. That is not, a that is a good point. It's not utilized well. Uh, I have to ask a question. Yeah. When uh uh I want to call him Stanky Leg, and that's not his name. Stanky Leg? Biscuits? Yeah. No, when... um. That's what I usually... When I smell a biscuit, I'm like, oh, that smells It like starts a... with an S. What is the step-grandpa's name? Scully. 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 <laughs> Stanky Leg. Okay. <laughs> yeah. I like Stanky Leg. I know. I knew it wasn't right. Can I knew we just it started with an Stanky S. Leg? No, can we call... I knew it started with an S, though. Can we, can we just start calling him Stanky Leg now? I like that. Let's just right. up. let's yeah, make that change yeah. now. Okay. Right. When Stanky Leg uh, saw Tulo in the pawn shop, he says, uh, oh, something. There she is. Radiant as the sun shining out of my. And she stops him. <laughs> yeah. What's ass. he going to say? Ass? ass. Yes, of course. He's, and he's is shining that... sun out of his ass by just saying this comment. Yeah. It's so funny. I'm a little sappy. I know she interrupted him, but I thought like window, like literally the sun radiating out. Like, that's a beautiful thing. I thought he was going to go sweet with it. But now okay. the sun doesn't radio out of your window. It it's radiates a... into your window. It can radiate out. What You don't know. If the sun is inside of your house. It can be this. It can go through it. Man. Oh, this it's gonna get philosophical or some shit. You're welcome. Let's have that no. feces conversation. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> I feel like once 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 sunlight 
hits something from the sun, it becomes natural light. And when it's reflected off of, you're not even listening to me. It's like what? talking to my students. I, I did You're too. trying to say poop in sign language over and over again. Fuck <laughs> off. We don't ruin the, the audio. Don't the they don't get this? They don't get this. <laughs> you know. So sorry, audio listeners. You don't know what that looked like. But no, I do think he was going to say ass, and I he was yeah. going to say ass. So is I that is that a off. compliment or a no, diss? No, it's a diss. He's it's a trying straight to make her laugh. Diss. They have a thing. So That's like it's like. No. You are you they are beautiful, but only only as beautiful as the sunlight coming out of my butthole. No, oh, hold on. Now I it's... think you're reading too much into this, Emmy. Okay, I'm all right. Say, Goalie. I didn't expect to defend this episode so much to both of you, but my God. Goalie. Oh, I think I I'm gonna start saying that. I think that's adorable. That's she my new favorite know, compliment. Is she, is she complimenting or offending people? She wants to know our opinions first before she starts saying it. Yeah, Amy, I don't. I don't. Honestly, you know what? I don't give a shit. There you go. I'm just gonna start saying it. So Scully, after making up with Chula, do you think he's? You think he's in now? No, I after, think he's in. I uh, think. I think, I think that they. Hell yeah! You when you hold onto a sewing machine that long and you put a nice blanket over it, you oil that you're shit. You're in, man. You're in. A woman likes when you make sure she's wet. You know what I mean? Like, oh my god! Oh, sorry, her Not sewing wet. machine Lube, her, lubricated. Her yeah. sewing machine lubricated. Sorry, I apologize. But yeah, you you lubricate that sewing machine. That's what I call mine too. The sewing machine. Oh no! Sounds painful. Oh, <laughs> oh no! <laughs> so um, got tangled. Biscuits. <laughs> He's directing cars, and as soon as I saw him, I'm like, yes. He's going to die. He's going to die. <laughs> he's going to die. He's direct, And he's like, hey, no, what are no, you? No, you don't. Don't let them tell you that. <laughs> okay. Uh, Amy actually has a Biscuits action figure. It's pretty cool. Um, so uh, <laughs> uh, YouTube, check it out. It's really cool. Um, so uh, where are you? Pokney? Is that, is, I, I always mess that up. Uh, and yeah. Bonnie uh, are supposed to be here about an hour ago. Just text. Just, you know, and like. And then she sees the woodpecker, which is a sign of death warnings. You know. That's deep. And it's the happened. They talk about that. Oh, I know. I said. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's oh, very. I got you. I, I'm agreeing with you. I'm good. Very explicit That's there with deep. the Easter egg there. Uh, did you guys catch another Easter egg that was a little bit less explicit? Rocks on oil company. Oh, fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> coming back in a big way yeah. that was we'll never uh, be rid of it no and i i yeah i i kind of like it it was all and uh, there was something about rocks on core or whatever in all of the iron man movies including yeah. including iron man 2 oh um, shut up Come and on. then but i i noticed it from um Loki. As if, that was as if saying store. all the iron man movies doesn't include iron man no movies. she has to just she's like all the iron man movies Including Iron Man Two, well, the, all the, don't say all the Iron Man movies. Just say Iron Man, Iron Man Two, and Iron Man Three, or all the Iron Man movies. Don't fucking just. Me. You know, sometimes you gotta highlight one. Just to sometimes you don't have well, to be a dude. Deep. I like Iron Man Three the most. So you both suck. Iron Man, the very first movie is near perfection. Iron Man Two and Three can go suck a butt. All right. Shane Black wrote and directed Iron Man Three. I cannot. I cannot turn that man down as far as uh, a movie goes. <laughs> too good. He's too well, good. So we see the energies humming. And there you aren't alone. All of us that came before and after are part of you. We're an echo through you. And uh, not when she goes back home and sees her mom. Yeah, what are we talking about, friend? Why are you spoiling this, Emmy? Did you give a spoiler warning before you fucking started saying shit? Jesus. Sorry. I'm going to give you shit I'm for sorry. that for her. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah she goes back she's, um anyway uh it's funny i have autocorrect on so this is what literally my uh my note says coke from a very long line of special women that's uh i don't know that you came from a special well a long line of special women but i have oh, oh. from a coke from oh. a, yeah 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 anyway uh, it also goes goes with the line <laughs> it does and don't run stay fight for us and don't forget your gifts um talks about the strategy of being cunning uh, the ferocity love and every seam on the suit shows that you're part of us and we of you i love you always and there's a superhero suit here it is 
I mean, I feel like Deadpool would have a field day with this show because I think he would just be like, ah, anyway, Keith, you're dying. What do you got? Okay, so the limited things that I have learned about the indigenous culture uh, through my mom, she has an association with, she has a few friends now uh, nearby Mohawk Reservation that she's been going to regular ceremonies with and telling me all about it. And she was the one to, to, who told me never call them what they wear costumes, say regalia, what it's called is regalia. And to me, a show about indigenous people uh, for the first time in the MCU, you cannot not have a regalia reveal or a super suit in a way. Um, and because it is, is so important, it's handed down from generation to generation, the fact that it was a Chula creation after years of of no uh creation from her she doesn't didn't feel creative because she'd lost her daughter and they say actually yeah. in their culture you shouldn't be making anything like that with negative uh energy you should be making it with positive energy so the confrontation she had with maya and then immediately afterward started feeling inspired to make that suit uh, for her and that every seam is handing down like the part of her family and, and her story it, it, you can't this isn't the show to skip that step you know what I mean like this isn't the show to skip that part in the Marvel formula where you get a super suit like this isn't the super suit this is a this is a indigenous regalia this is something that she will yeah represent in the best ways and so th as much as I understand your 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 exhaustion with the formula that's something they can't skip they they can't do another way so that was my takeaway from this moment could and they I, have made... i wish that it had been turned into a bigger moment if we had six episodes it or could they have made it a second season bigger. thing did she need the suit this season can Not we make one she can already we... had a cool suit that's true yeah. right can we just she's a badass like yeah. yeah i don't doubt this suit i don't but it's like like marvel has to like okay this is the first time we see it we, we need him in a suit now it's like wait well can we just let things just breathe you know what if she just you know like i would i would love that but not in this format it just felt rushed it felt very formulaic it, it, felt very, it, felt it very didn't rushed. feel yes it's a but it still didn't feel different or unique to me watching it it didn't feel like this was unique to this hero and and it felt like just a here's the suit you know how this goes you know and, and that's unfortunate because for it to be such a meaningful part of their culture i feel like it should have felt different as a viewer mm -hmm. you know what i especially would have loved and yeah if this was a six episode series we might have gotten that <laughs> you yeah, are I'm hung keep, up I'm, on that yes i'm so hung up on that you gotta okay. take a shot every time keith says six episodes <laughs> Yes. It just made me think like, okay, so at the very end of this episode, I'm skipping ahead, I know, but at the very end of this episode, we have like a montage with zero dialogue where they're all just hanging out at a barbecue or an outside dinner where they get together as a family. And that seemed skipped. That seemed rushed. And what we could have gotten was yeah. maybe a speaking moment between Maya and Chula where Chula explained that Taloa came to visit her because she does see the ancestors as well she does see the family visions as well so why wouldn't she have been visited by Taloa before making the suit and and having a moment with her daughter because they're right now they're like a, it's like a door and a, and a and a frame with a missing hinge and mm -hmm. Taloa is the reason why they're so disconnected because there is a missing part in their generations and taken away from them so soon and so out of nowhere so mm -hmm. It would have been nice to see them bond over both being visited by Taloa, and that that's a part I wished. She was captured because she gave Kingpin the whole thing, like, hey, you know, my granddaughter, she's something <laughs> special. But at the end of the episode, I wouldn't have wanted to see it before that. It just would have been nice to see before their hug and before her, like, embrace of her face. Hey, you both are visited. Moment, yeah, that's Just say, like, this is that. what happened. Yeah. 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 I, I took this as, and this is partially my ignorance, uh, of the Choctaw culture. Um, yeah. I thought this scene was a little a little bit cheesy, but I absolutely loved it. <laughs> I was yeah. bawling. Absolutely bawling. Like it was Did you like the was, part where they pointed really out like the different emotional. traits that she gets from each from each ancestor? I really liked that. Again, I thought it was a little bit cheesy, but I really liked it. Like yeah. like the uh what strategy from uh the walk the, uh, the stick ball player yeah. yeah 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 and just like the way that they pointed it all out was like yeah. 
I I listen. I I ate it up. I loved it. Yeah. It was a little bit like here is exactly what it is. But I was like, yeah. thank you. I can only eat with one hand. So, <laughs> so we switch over to. Uh, I did make a note here. Um, about the heartbeat synchronized with the drum beat. I thought that was pretty cool. Uh, let's do this. Keep yeah. your eye on Maya Lopez. We see the the goons. They pull in. All right, let's keep an eye out for Maya Lopez. Like, okay, this is setting something up. Here we go. Once again, I saw the episode linked when I hit play. That's also kind of the thing that kind of bumps me out about Disney+. Plus. Like, as soon as I hit play, it's like 36 minutes. I'm like, fuck, that's too short. Um, <laughs> anyway, it's not the show's fault. Just something I know right away. I'm like, this is. And then when this was happening, I was like, God, there's no way. There's no way you can even have this be anything impactful at all. And I was right. <laughs> Sorry, I am being bitter. But it really was just like, you know, we see the Maya and Fisk. They have a stare down and talks about, you know, you know, her family's legacy. Talks about her family's legacy. And now I know how much it'll hurt you when I kill the rest of your family. You know, like just it. Fisk felt very. Okay, let's do generic Marvel villain that can be thrown away. Give give him throwaway line one. Okay, this was a bummer to me. This was like, oh, there's her entire family that's captured. Fisk, I can't see Kingpin just, here, I've got these people and I'm going to do bad things. I'm Fisk. It's like, no, I, I did bad things. Now what are you going to do? You shouldn't have, you know, I feel like he... For someone we saw in such a ruthless manner, who you set up with that guy who just gave shit to a little girl over ice cream, this this person has really put you through the ringer, and you're like, hey, I got your family. Now I'm going to destroy them. Like, it's like, what? This just... I don't think they nerfed Fisk. I think they literally did nothing with Fisk. That was my early critique, and I'm just going to say it again, because I didn't feel like this was the kingpin that we have really grown to know and enjoy from the daredevil series you can't say well daredevil's canon and then you have this character that just feels so disconnected from that series that we saw it doesn't feel like the same character it literally felt like this i didn't like it i didn't like it but not all of us have seen that character or that show <laughs> i'm telling you right now amy this is a disappointment and you're gonna see a much better version of it i'm just saying okay. uh, i and can't Wait but, for Keith and I to watch that show while you're yeah. on paternity leave. Who needs consistency? Um, fuck, fuck you. Fuck no. you. You, are right. not, you are not, you asshole. You asshole. No, no but no, I do. No, I do actually no, have a oh, point here. Oh, I thought you were doing that. I thought that was oh. just a little jab and then a walk away. No. All right. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Throw a grenade and fuck everybody. <laughs> Iron Man one, just the blast in the back as you walk away. <laughs> cool <laughs> guys, <laughs> don't look at explosions. <laughs> All right, sorry, we go on. Um, no, I was I was gonna say so I watched a uh, Screen Crush, um, just because I I like to see what they think, especially compared to the Daredevil show that I've not seen and this show, and they made a good point that it is possible that marvel wanted a discrepancy between the two um that daredevil isn't completely like yes it is now canon technically but marvel can also say but that's a different universe and mm -hmm. so like the hammer discrepancy in the last episode could be due to that um <laughs> it wasn't this boring. I get but okay in my well, but in, in this episode they pointed out that the white wall in the daredevil show when uh kingpin is a kid is in the living room I think they said but in this show it was in his bedroom um the hammer was on the table in the show and in this show it was underneath of his mattress like yeah. there's discrepancies that they Tiny could say yeah. this is it's a it's yeah it's the the same things happen but it's a different kind of course of events overall and i th i think that's a very great point and i love that point Amy. why would you I, make this screen crush very good point screen crush all right screen yeah, crush. crush great job screen crush but why would you make this other kingpin suck so much more 
Like, I, if you're going to take liberties to make him a hey, different, there's nothing character, wrong with being gay. I'm not. I never said anything about that, Emmy. Do not make me like literally one star reviews over and over. Brandon hates people that are not. Anyway. <laughs> what are, no, to, no, genuinely. <laughs> why would you? That that be, being a different f- version of Kingpin, having a different story or kind of the same story, but also a different. Why would you make one that just feels so damn generic? That's my frustration. It doesn't have to be the same Kingpin, but don't make it a boring and bland Kingpin. Don't make it a Marvel villain one here. It didn't feel. I'm telling Keith, if I took out Kingpin and inserted any other villain there would you have known oh this was you know what i mean would it have felt any different like kingpin being there doesn't make it kingpin i guess is my point it feels just like another villain we could have had any villain in that place it didn't have to be kingpin hella and it who i went to as well i was thinking hella for some reason yeah loki any other marvel villain i was like hella yeah i just i just i guess my whole point is like insert any marvel bad guy here and it would have been the same exact story you know kingpin didn't feel original or fresh it felt like they were just using it for like hey it's kingpin you know just it you know and that's frustrating that is so damn frustrating i get it what i would say in your your question to me the 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 kingpin that we've gotten the vincent d'onofrio in the mcu so far has been barely the last episode of hawkeye um Mm -hmm. and this few times we've seen him in echo so anybody who's seen the daredevil version knows what he has to offer knows how scary he is know how good vincent d'onofrio is is and And they can three seasons yeah to to build off of it we've just seen this dude get shot and i'm gonna I'm going to hurt your family. And that's exactly. It. And it's this other guy. It doesn't feel like Kingpin. What they did focus on more was his love for Maya, his weird, weird relationship of love for Maya and how they have a, a, a language of violence and how he's not really uh, willing to learn ASL about it because of the love for her. But he is, he has very calm complicated feelings about uh you know how he does uh care about her so it, it is a, a weird thing to grasp and to wrap your head around especially because maya herself is a relatively brand new character for us so yeah i i agree with you I, it doesn't feel like kingpin i get it um what i was and this came from somebody kind of ruining it for me on on uh i think it was facebook or something it was a the complaint about oh she healed kingpin's brain and now he's not uh, the kingpin we want or or need or or love or or liked from the past um to me i was very scared that it was going to be a very cringy moment where she heals him and shows the flashbacks and and the abusive father situation he's in um and what created this villain uh his origin point I thought it was going to be a lot more cringy than it was. And, you know, the idea of, I was oh, going to say that what you just, this. yeah, what you just described, I thought happened, did it not? What? That did happen. But okay. when I heard what people were complaining about, they're like, oh, this isn't even the kingpin we love, or, or, you know, he'd be way more ruthless than this. And, and they made him this crying baby. Like I imagined him like in a high chair at his, you know, at his family <laughs> table, like crying like a baby. And I was like scared that that's what we were going to see. But instead we saw her intervening in this formative moment where he was going to go out and attack his and kill his father. Um, and I was very glad that that, is what we got a very a very tame version of what it could have been um what my my imagination was running with anyways um but, and then his but, de- desperation after she did that grabbing her hand and saying what did you do what did you do he doesn't understand a single thing that he just experienced he has no fucking clue but he's gonna go back to new york and he's gonna play the long con in my opinion so i've got a question yeah. and, and, and i could have missed something here so she stops him before he kills his father Right. So this is could be me where I fell asleep in the show and I missed something and I apologize. So the abuse for years kept going. No, she she went back to a formative moment in him and I, it's up up to interpretation, open to interpretation. What I That's my interpret interpretation of events was... is this guy is hurting his mother and instead of him intervening, he has to endure years more of abuse of his father hurting his mother. 
what does that do to someone's psyche and how is that okay i think what she did if anything was um tame a part of him that was obsessed with fathering her and making their language violence and continuing on with that obsession of you have to come back with me or else and it just kind of stopped his obsession with her um by going back to that moment and going hey you're fucked up because of this moment rethink your choices you know here's a bit of a bomb here's a, a bit so of that a, didn't a, a change band-aid. what happened i don't think it changed what happened i don't think that she has the ability i don't think it's a, a time travel thing it's i think it's a mm-hmm. okay a, a uh, that. moment like like an echo it's a reflection like a ripple in a river what like a liquid like a, like a liquid, liquid echo okay that helps me that helps me a lot um yeah yeah, yeah it's still kind of hard though to kind of see the point then it's like hey you know you're you're not changing anything are you you're just bringing light to it in in a very real way like hey this is this was the moment but it's still like i don't know i guess i don't understand i and and that's okay I, at this point i don't f- like hey remember this this is this was kind of fucked up and crazy right yeah yeah what'd you do bye like it's like wait what? <laughs> Like, like, that's how I think about this. Like, I just like I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of in kingpins. Like, what would you do? <laughs> what what happened? Like, I think, I think Mar- what it was was a, a gamble of of do we make the show more about Fisk or do we make it more about Maya? And in that moment, they chose Maya. They showed her using her powers and projecting them out to anybody in her bloodline and in her family, and they all got powers. And it was like they had the double strength of two people and the skills of her ancestors. It was so cool, and yet. If they made it more about Fisk, those those Kingpin fans especially would be satiated, sure. But I'm sure there's a ton of Fisk coming up in Daredevil, Born Again, and mm-hmm. I'm sure we'll get that. But without that knowledge, and I'm not saying you don't have that because I know you've, you've seen some of the Daredevil show, I'd say for the majority they're thinking, oh, if people haven't seen it, uh, we're just going to rush through this Fisk thing and make this show about Maya where it should have. Yeah. It is underserving to the Kingpin character, but it's because the show's about her instead. So it's, it's a it's lot possible. of, again, a six episode arc might've probably explained whatever you're talking about. Take a shot. Take a shot. I know it's not about, I understand the episode is called echo, but I also watched a movie that was captain America civil war. And it was all about iron man being a bitch anyway. So <laughs> how, uh, how dare you? So, so anyway, the whole point is this Bitch. whole thing built up to Fisk and Maya. Yes, it can be called Echo. I get it. But it just feels like, hey, let's get them both here, both here, both here. Okay. Yeah, that's that's Fisk. Now we got Maya. It's like get wait, him to go ahead. home. <laughs> right. <laughs> like packing I mean, up his things and going home. <laughs> exactly. And I, I mean, you're not really serving the antagonist of this story by just, yeah, but, but it's echo. Like, I don't think, I feel like it's more of a cop out. I, I feel like you, you, you kind of just went towards, Hey, let's just focus in on this. I am being crit- critical because how do you, one, you did enough to include him in your series and say he is a focal point for so long. And then when it actually matters to tell a, a relevant story, then you're like, no, it's echo. It's Maya. It's like, wait, what? No, then don't. Why did you bring us along here anyway for us to be thrown to the side? And, you know, like I was invested somewhat in it. And then it's like, mm, this is Maya's story now. Like, I want to hear what Emmy has to say first, because I, I've got something after that I think will annoy you. <laughs> oh, I think I'm annoyed not, too. Not, not more than this show. Sorry. Uh, uh. Uh, why are we going to throw him away? Because fuck the patriarchy. (laughs) But I do, I, there were serious questions whenever, whenever he was getting in the car and he was just leaving and it was like, what are you? Yeah. What is it? What is it? Like, it was, that was, that was the moment where I was like, oh, that, the, the twilight fight wasn't real. Like, Mm. you guys aren't gonna like actually like do anything you're not gonna you're done trying to kill her like you i blue balls us twice for this This blue balls us twice (laughs) this is oh come on that wink from henry when he shot zane while he was about to shoot the rocket launcher god damn that was cool you know what he's like henry henry's kind of fucking hot I, I think know, Henry, right? he's fucking fine. <laughs> he rolls. If I go back and watch the episode and his sleeves are rolled up, I'm fucking done. I'm <laughs> fucking done. I know that's your criteria, Emmy. 
You want to hear the annoying they thing? They might be. Well, no, I, I'm sorry. There real quick. I was going to say, okay, I, I felt such an ick from people walking into such a joyous celebration with guns. Mm-hmm. Like, I just felt such an ick from that. And then for the for the resolution of that to it was like there was no urgency in this you could have waited until after the celebration was done and just gone after maya you didn't have to like put other civilians in the the firing line at all in any way shape or form when they were celebrating and having this Mm -hmm. powwow and just for them for that to be the ending of it i was just like yeah i i mean it's not that not that i wanted not that I wanted something to happen. Mm-hmm. But like, I don't know. It just, it made, it it raised the stakes and then was a mad, like, just like, oh, no, they're gone. They had yeah. to barbecue. Maybe, maybe you didn't want something to happen, but maybe you expected more to happen. Y- yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Keith, go ahead. Keith, Brandon. annoy me. Yes, yes. please annoy Brandon, because I don't like how much he's agreeing <laughs> with me this episode. Is it off track? Off <laughs> the uh, you mentioned that the the antagonist, the main antagonist, felt underserved because of this decision to just have have Fisk just kind of up and leave. Um, and his his all of his men have been defeated at this point. He's got like one guy left, and that guy is encouraging him to get in the car and get the fuck out of here before before something worse happens. But um. I would argue that the main antagonist of this show is not Kingpin. The man and okay. main antagonist. I'm in. Of this show I'm in. I'm in. Let's. Is Maya's choice to be good or evil, and her choice is represented by Kingpin and the offer that he gives her to come back with him, and her choice and her fighting against the idea that she could just be Queenpin and take the easy route, regardless. Regardless, yeah. whoever self, thinks, self versus self conflict, whoever is what we call it in of, English language arts, regardless of who's the antagonist or who's not the antagonist, Kingpin felt lame as fuck. <laughs> and I don't care who he's, he's antagonizing, I don't care what the fuck he's doing. Both times, oh, we're getting it, oh, we're getting it. Oh. And it just, I, I just think. Out of everything, we were I was looking forward to that not once but twice. And literally it was it felt very Iron Man three ish with uh Trevor Slattery, you know, I'm an actor. It just felt very let's swerve, you know, like and it just felt and I was very disappointed with that movie as well because of that, because the trailer I saw was not the movie I saw. If yes. you gave me you know, and so same with what Emmy's critique was earlier in this, is I felt from that trailer a little bit. I didn't get everything I was promised. And I felt like, I mean, watch the trailer again. Watch the end of episode one. I I really think if you watch episode one and that trailer after episode one, and then you watch the show, you're like, what? I mean, all this shit was kind of consequential that they showed was the big shit, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and like it the stuff like that felt like that was trying to sell us on a completely different show than what we ended up seeing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And that's, yeah. yeah. And, and, and that's probably the biggest, you know, anyway, I, I just, Kevin I'm Feige. sick of you smell like beef and cheese. You sit on a throne of lies. How do you sleep at night? You heard Emmy. Allegedly, he smells like beef and cheese. We're not entirely oh, sure. Allegedly. But... I was quoting Elf. He's got I know, cheese. but I just, boy, you know, he could really smell like that. I just don't he know. He looks like he does. Allegedly. <laughs> allegedly looks like he smells. Burn! Um. So, just getting back to the notes, because we have kind of strayed away just for a little bit, but... um. <laughs> We see the uh, ancestors, and we see Chula, Bonnie. They start taking out goons left and right because you know why? Why not? Henry shoots one. You know, fireworks. All right, the badass. Like. The guy who killed Vicky in front of him. Mm-hmm. The guy uh-huh. who used to yep. clean his skates. That's that true. That's true. <laughs> um, and then we see uh, this is my notes. Energy humming over his eye. Wall fuds. <laughs> uh, sorry, I'm sorry. My notes <laughs> crack me up sometimes. Uh, let go of the pain. You are my uncle. Shut him out. And I'm not who you want me to be. And give it to me, please. What did you do? And we see Fisk get uh, driven away. That's sorry. I mean, I'm sorry. My notes aren't that great. I apologize. Uh, and the woodpecker. <laughs> it was just a phrase. Give it to me, please. <laughs> You're welcome. I Maybe I should have thought about it. 
Yeah. Oh, sorry. Amy, fuck off. Uh, and, uh, I'm apologizing. And then I'm like, no, I don't, you know, fuck you. You're, you're immature. Um, and uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, before we see the woodpecker released, anything else to add to that, that beautiful scene of Kingpin just driving away? I have I, so much that I feel like I haven't covered yet. I, this, yeah. this whole powwow was such a very cool representation of culture. I, I th- it was so interesting to see there. Thank you, Keith, for teaching me regalia. And it was different regalia for different tribes and different, like, it was like, you could see differences in each, mm-hmm. but just the authenticity of it mm-hmm. was cool. And the fact that when you first see the powwow, they did focus in on like the moccasins and like different aspects of it and different it was just it was just really cool i really really loved that i'm excited to see the making of and i hope that they have parts of that in it i think keith already made can i tell you one thing that i've learned from the assembled that's really fucking cool no spoilers oh okay no i'm just kidding i'm kidding i'm sorry (laughs) (laughs) they just Re- they realized after trying to stage um, that episode and stage everything, they're like, we just need to throw an actual powwow. And they threw one and did it. said, okay, we want everyone to meet in Georgia. Can you guys meet? It'll be the first powwow ever of the MCU. And they have this amazing moment where at the end, at the end of everything, the cast, the crew, everybody could just, they were able to just relax at the end of shooting and just join the actual powwow. And real vendors, real food, real dances, real entertainment. Oh, that's it was so awesome. cool. And, that, and that's and the best way to get it. their shots. It's perfect. Yeah, it's it was so cool. Um oh, but yeah, neat. So that was a huge part of the huge part of the making of. But yeah, it, it, you're it, and you know, a part of me did want Maya to sneak into the powwow and have to take out a guy here, a guy there without disrupting the events. That would have been cool as shit instead of mm-hmm. going to the barn. And having all of it happen in there, it would have been really cool. But I think it's probably because they were having an actual event happen and they couldn't. So they had to shoot those scenes. And uh, Yeah. But yeah, I, I was my expectations were at a certain place when I saw that they were going to the big powwow at the end of the, yeah. at the end of the season. But yeah, they threw an actual powwow. It was, it was cool. That's, That's awesome. Pretty cool. I'm excited to see that. Yeah. Uh, um, um, yeah sorry, I'm going to go. The, okay. Whenever they do an overhead shot of the dancing, they do a spiral. Yes. That oh, that looked cool. That looked indicative really cool. of yeah. the the yeah. The um, ripples of water for echo. Yes. The liquid. Yep. The liquid echoes. You're welcome. No. Well, but from the first episode when um. I'm just joking. Yeah, but yeah. You've grown so much, Brandon, from this just one episode. Thank you. I appreciate it, Keith. Thank you for noticing, uh, Mike. The main guy, the guy who looks like uh NPH with like a prosthetic on. Um, he is wearing a shirt that says Tamaha is okay, which Tamaha is in Oklahoma. And I thought that was clever. Uh, do you guys realize that bad guys can't use Apple, but they can use Yeti? Oh, to store no. missiles. Oh, oh my so goodness. You heard it here first Yeti supports background goons. Yeah, well, allegedly per the show. You know, did you notice that? Well, actually, I mean, you missed something. Thanos, right before he snapped his finger, he was drinking out of a yelly, a yelly little. Yeah, I don't know if you Did caught that, but he was. He sure was. He was pouring one out for the five half of humanity. Yeah, the five <laughs> half of humanity. Only. I like the way you said that. <laughs> Keep in mind, sober tonight sober <laughs> this is just sleep deprivation me right. too <laughs> yes um uh okay go ahead Keith. Uh, uh, the scene where he's admitting that he killed her father the scene where he oh, has yeah. Bonnie come over and interpret everything he's saying because he doesn't want to mm-hmm. fucking learn himself the it, it was very cool to get an extended scene of the sound cutting out, the sound design cutting out, and everything, and yes. getting everything he's actually wanted to, or you know, uh, hiding, uh, just all coming out through Bonnie having to interpret. I, I thought that was cool. It's the most, the most Bonnie's played, the biggest part Bonnie's played in this whole season. 
which annoys me. Again, you really they really set us up to think that Bonnie was a big character in that first uh, that first episode, tearing her away from her childhood best friend. But uh, yeah, it's um, yeah that that part I enjoyed. Yeah, I that was one of my notes too. Like the the silence and having to use an interpreter to communicate again. And I, honestly, in the last episode, they were shooting interpreters. And so when Bonnie was interpreting, I was like, oh, fuck, damn it. Don't do it. Don't yeah. interpret. Yeah. Don't you know but, he doesn't like those? Right? Yeah. Classic. Um, but Fisk lives. He lives for the drama. He <laughs> he is a diva through and through. When, he, when, when Maya walks in, first of all, the fact that she's walking down that barn and the lights come on one at a time, like, <laughs> that is drama. Yeah. that is extra that's too to much the music yes <laughs> i yes. agree that annoyed me a little bit and then he comes around the corner and then the lights come on and what like the stables to yeah. show that he's got chula and bonnie that was, was like batman like... forever riddler kind of yes yeah. and again and again who the fuck at marvel's like you know what would be cool right who now? choreographed that who the fuck what it's in just- in it, not like in the show universe, Fisk was like, "All right," and then I'm going to come around the corner and I'm going to do this, and you turn on the lights. Yeah. Oh my yeah. gosh, you have my family! Oh my god, you've only been hinting at it this entire. <laughs> yeah, but you didn't know I'd do that light trick, did you? You know. Yeah. Oh, you sorry. Really think you're under. You're under. Uh, so uh, appreciating my light show that I do. I, uh, I know you are curious where your family is Click. They're right here. <laughs> if he just had a light switch next to him that's make, yeah. make it still pretty he cool brought, but kind of lame i brought my own blue bulbs <laughs> so oh, alexa turn on the lights install one and two hold on Ale- I, I have alexa, to go alexa <laughs> hold on i have to go to my casa app and turn on the lights give me one second here it is. <laughs> click. It's, it's in click. my left contact, so I have to blink I, 18 her. times. No more, no less. Your your family's right here. Did you see when I turned the lights on? Now they're behind me. Do you see what I I'm mean? Saying? It would be pretty cool for Maya because she wouldn't hear the mistakes. Yeah. Maya's just like she wouldn't hear the cue. She'd be like, wow, was, he's magic. Did, did they ever show Maya after that moment? Did Maya was like, fuck? Like no, well, it's, <laughs> They had to cut it. Doctor Strange time. is here. That would have been in an episode that? six. Oh, yeah, take a drink. Yeah. Take a drink. <laughs> uh, unless you're driving, don't do that. But uh, yeah, it was. It, yeah, it was. This was. This was amazing. Emmy, do you have any more notes about the lights or not about the lights? Okay. Um, all right, y'all are a couple of Nahulos. I punched my mic. Sorry about it. Uh, do we know what Nahulos are? <laughs> Did um, we catch up on it with context? White peeps. White people. We <laughs> are white people. Yeah. White people taco night. Anyway, sorry. And it can be used in a loving way. But I feel like for the most part, uh, it is not and should probably not be. <laughs> well, no. If you are, you can be a decent human being and and still, you know, have, you know, you can, you don't have to just, well, it's, it's, it's bad, <laughs> you know? So, yeah, 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 that's true. Well, it, yeah, it's it depends on just like if I were to call you, I don't know, a slut. It depends on the context. <laughs> just for the record, every time I call you a slut, Amy, I mean it with the worst context possible. <gasps> okay, well, that's not how I hear it. So <laughs> I'd quit if I were you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry, Amy, go on. Um. Uh. Okay, I thought the ancestors coming through, all three of them. I know, Brandon, I think you had some issues with it. I thought it was fucking badass. I loved it. And I loved seeing the ancestors all lined up behind Maya. I did I just... like I, I I don't think I had an issue with this, actually. I mean, I, I, I didn't, didn't. Like they okay. set it up, but I did like this. Yeah, I would like I... the actual scene. And Correct. Like the actual yeah. like like it was just cool. And like Bonnie kept just like looking at her hands like the fuck is happening. That's another thing. Like I, I love I love the ancestors being I thought that was awesome. But then Bonnie just again being the clueless like these characters feel so 2d you know what i mean they just feel like all of a sudden just i'm background how do i you know it's just 
like Bonnie felt like so much in episode one felt like could be so much throughout the series and just was just regulated to, I'm just going to be captive here. I'm just going to shut up here and I'm going to stare at my hands here. Yeah. That's the stuff that annoys me. I love the ancestors. I love the story behind that. I love what they did even to set that up. I thought it was pretty cool. Then behind is Bonnie going, right like it's like god damn it can i ever can i just like something can you just not give me something that annoys me even like i find joy in one I, thing and then i see bonnie and i'm like why is she a dumbass why why she's so cool okay. all why right. she fuck you counterpoint all right please Please. I en i enjoyed that because bonnie i bonnie is she's an emt right mm -hmm. so she's also kind of a healer and i don't think that she's ever Fire seen first. her hands do oh fire person she does something to help people i don't think that she's ever seen her hands do damage and i i, I kind mm. of enjoyed that she was like the fuck am i doing like usually i use these to help people and right now i am punching the living daylights out of these background goons i just feel someone who's two-dimensional who's just literally like burp, 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 burp. like i just like come on now i uh, think there was a scene uh, planned in uh, episode six that episode had, six uh body exploring more so the fact that her hands had only healed people and never hurt people so we want episode six. Make it trend on Twitter. <laughs> yeah. All three of you that listen in on that actually still have a Twitter because no one has a Twitter anymore. <laughs> Jesus. Why do we okay. stop Twitter? Can we get I want, Sid, I, I want the Sydney Freeland cut? That's what yeah. we're gonna talk about on Reddit. Okay, um, that was a little bit harsh, Shimmy. You're right. I apologize. But I just once again, characters that feel underdeveloped. I wanted more. Maybe if we had an episode six, we would have seen more. So I apologize. I just, once again, have expectations on who Chula and Bonnie could have been. And just to see them being like, I'm proud of my grand, my granddaughter. And I'm going to stare at my hands. I'm like, ah, it just, it's a letdown for me personally. No, she's not dumb, but I guess I expect more from a character. And I shouldn't. You're right. I should have lowered <laughs> expectations. Oh, and now I forgot my second point. Go ahead, Keith. I'm going to remember it. Well, I was going to talk about something more oh. broad about the series in general, but I, did you want me to go ahead and you'll remember it? I, I already remembered it. Um, okay, go for it. The ancestor shot, whenever all the ancestors are behind Maya. Badass. Okay. Yeah. All right. That answers my question. <laughs> we don't even have to fight about it. No, I told you I liked it. I know. Well, I, okay. Do you want me to like... What 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 were you gonna what would you think I was gonna say? No, I I didn't think that you guys were gonna go any any which way, but yeah, all the ancestors are female. We've seen female team ups before. Endgame was one that we had differing thoughts about, and and, and well, ancestral and ancestral lineage is not everyone on a battlefield being a certain gender. And let me pan to this, and then have it. She's not alone. There's pandering. Yeah. Okay. And there's, yes. Yes. There to me, there's earned. Once again, yes. watch this Infinity is, War. Yeah. There is a moment with Scarlet Witch, Black Widow, and you know Okoye that feels fucking awesome, and yeah. I like that. I am not against any of that. Just don't force feed it. Yes. Earn it. And I That's, agree. I was, agree wholeheartedly that this was a hundred percent. This was earned. earned. This was earned. But. I mean, but you could argue that Maya doesn't just have female ancestors. She's also got male ancestors. I mean. But this show showed us these ancestors, taught us the meaning of these ancestors. Why didn't it show us any male ancestors? I'm talking about the MCU, right? Oh, you thumbs up that. <laughs> you are going to start shit. Don't start shit. There will be no shit. No, I, I, no, it, I know, it, I know. I'm, I'm, I'm just interwove it into the story beautifully. Yeah, and I, no, I completely, and agree. that's what makes this work. They did not set up these, these women superheroes together in any sort of fashion. Then they all just suddenly are just landing next to each other and like, oh, fuck yeah. Do you have a vagina? I've got one too. Oh my God. I have a vagina too. What? Pussy I power. Let's do it. It's like, wait, what? Yes. No, you, you can. How do you shave your pubes? <laughs> oh my gosh, you have pubes? I'm an alien. I don't have pubes. You know, like I have <laughs> tentacles down there. Like, oh, well, we can't team up anymore. <laughs> yeah, it ain't cool. But like, I don't know. This is a pubes only girl group. <laughs> yeah, no, to me, I, I liked it. In game, fucking dumb. 
<laughs> I'm sorry. Oh. I didn't I didn't think that initially, but just like I don't know, just thinking about it now. Think about, about how much I'm picture, critiquing the show. You're like, hey, you he's were a ready well, no. for someone to have a problem with it, regardless no. if it was Brandon. No, no. I oh. didn't I didn't think that <laughs> I was I'm glad that you guys that no none of you had a problem with it. I just thinking of the picture that we've landed on, I think, for social media posts and stuff. Mm-hmm. I just I was just thinking about it and I was like, oh, that looks familiar. Oh. But yeah, no, this one was earned. Okay, cool. Thank I think you. Too, like this show being about a female lead as well is like definitely we're gonna celebrate that. Like and, yeah. and it, it, to my understanding in, in uh a, a lot of the Chukta and other indigenous cultures, they do celebrate their women uh quite a bit as the you know, they they do so much and it's like why why ignore that? So it felt it felt a lot more organic um than the moment in Endgame where it's just like, Oh, we didn't pander to women enough. Let's force this in I hey hey Russo's can you put that one scene that we kind of left on the cutting room floor they're like i'd like to put that one in there just so we can make sure hey yeah did women know that they were in this movie yeah exactly. <laughs> let's make I sure just, they know there were women in this i by just putting them I, all in one place very recognizable to me that does more to separate and to alienate and it also does harm to that uh, to me in some way you know yeah. like I, that's how i view it i feel like you know like they're you, you think you're doing something magical and special. Look at all these in one place. And some people feel that way. And to you, hey, I'm I'm happy. For me, it separates alienates, which has been the problem all along. <laughs> we should yeah. never be that. It should be, we are, hey, eye to eye, equal to equal. You are my partner. Mm-hmm. You are my sister. You are, you know what I mean? That's what I see. And to me, Emmy and I, we're on a battlefield together. And she is there with me right here, right in line. She's not going to be over there. Uh, Emmy's a slut, actually, a little bit below. But like, (laughs) but here's the thing. But that's that's how I see Emmy, and that's how I see all the women in my life. They are with me. We are one. We are equal. When they're all separated off, and like, she's not alone. It's like, what the fuck? What the fuck? We're doing that thing, saying they should not be. You know, I, I I don't know. I just that's my opinion. That may be controversial. I'm sorry, but I just feel. Like it when you're separating it needs to be equal. Yeah. Are we are we Separate doing but equal is not equal. That was exactly what during it... Brown versus Board of Education back right. during segregation of schools. Let's not do that. Let's not do that. No. And and it's like, look, they're over here, you know. I don't know. <laughs> look at all those vaginas. <laughs> look, one has tentacle pubes. Fuck. <laughs> one of the things I <laughs> One of the things I think we all agree on about this show is the the fascination we have with the the echo part of you know the the generations all echoing down on how each episode featured a different backstory to a different character to the point where it was so seamless and so organic that I I didn't even think about the gender part I didn't, personally did not think about that at all. Um, and that's where I think we need the comparison to... of Endgame. Do you not but... have a vagina? <sighs> not right. Now. I, I, didn't... I didn't notice that until just just now. Sorry, <laughs> but no, I I was. And I won't focus on this too much because it is a bit of a downer, but I promise it's not that much of a downer for me. But I relate it huge to the idea of lost family members living on through us. It's a huge comfort to me, which I, I, ironically, I'm not, I, I was raised very atheist and the most atheist person in our family was my dad. I lost my dad when I was 20 years old. However, I do believe that he he lives through me and he whether it be his opinions he would have on certain things or his laugh or like things he would just find really fun or amusing like I it does kind of, I love the idea of a of the instincts of uh, my you know past family members uh, echoing through me. It's such a cool I- idea to wrap to wrap your head around and this show did that so well other than, uh, representing uh, the deaf community incredibly well and representing the Choctaw community specifically incredibly well. The show did the echo idea of the ancestors mm-hmm. so well. And, and it just, it, 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 yeah, it rings true in, uh, in the series as a whole. Again, this episode obviously was a culmination of all these things we've seen, but that part, that through line of the series was one of its strongest parts for me. Beautifully said. That's a really, really good point, yeah. Beautifully said and completely agree. 
Well, I, I cured it. I, I healed it. That's all. it. That's it for Bam. the episode. We got it in yeah. there, man. We we ended on a good note. Oh, no, we okay. I'm I'm joking, Amy. Yeah. Yeah. Amy, I'm kidding. I'm totally joking. Um, just a couple of uh, things before uh, we we go to uh, Maya shows up at a family gathering, and who's there, Amy? Biscuits. Oh, all right. I was going to oh. point out that he has a motherfucking monster truck. Yes. yes. Biscuits Can we does please talk about how Biscuits is apparently replacing Chula's truck with a fucking monster truck? Is that the plan? Was that the truck? Well, I mean, he went to that junkyard. Oh, everything he the went light to touches. the junkyard. Everything the light touches. Okay. But it's like, is that what you're replacing? The, is she going to go deliver mail with a truck she can't even fucking get out of without a cherry picker? What are we doing? That was... Why is every character... I had to get super negative. Why is but... every character dumb? Why? Why are they all dumb? Like what? Where's why did the common sense just leave the fucking town? Why? He was scared shitless of her, and then he's gonna put her in a monster truck. What the fuck happened to these? You're gonna so love bad. this. Ah. You have to tell me you're not mad at me anymore before you get in the monster truck. You have to promise you're not gonna run over me in the monster truck before you get in the monster truck. Yeah, I'm only sitting in the passenger seat. I ain't letting you have this thing by yourself. I wanted a TV MA raw real show, and what we got was a couple of deaths and then and a monster truck. Imagine yeah. if they just like rated our especially that scene where he crushed the two vans full of guys. I was, and we could I... see blood coming out of it. So for for my Star Wars homies, there's a part where uh Princess Leia says, Help me, Obi-Wan. Uh, you're my only hope. You're oh. my only hope. Help me, Dipple Three. You're my only hope. <laughs> I really need. We're not. What are we? What other shows are we getting? Uh, X Men ninety seven. We should be getting. Uh, uh Agatha. Agatha. Yeah, Agatha. But and they the changed the name five hundred times. I'm not sure what the end of it is. Uh, of Harkness. Born. Uh. Uh. uh no, yeah, uh, Agatha. Uh, born ultimatum. Again. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Agatha. Born <laughs> Ultimatum. Yes, that's a. But like. It's just... <laughs> But I, I really Agatha for the straight guy. <laughs> I guess what I meant by Deadpool three, help me, Deadpool three. You're my only hope is help me. Rated R, TVMA. You know, I know technically this is Ryan Reynolds, but this is actually MCU's first rated R movie, and I'm just hoping. I have faith. I, I, Ryan, Ryan Reynolds. Reynolds, he has not let me down through two Deadpool movies. I, I think he's wonderful as Deadpool. I think he's fantastic. I think he just, and him bringing Hugh Jackman back, I think this has all the makings to be a fantastic movie. He made a very heartwarming post on uh, all his social media. I shared it, I think, on our Twitter feed a couple weeks back. Either way, I really do believe Deadpool 3 is going to be great, but I guess what I mean is, like, de deliver some mature content that feels just so unlike the MCU. But I'm afraid is, oh god. Like I'm Thor, Love, and Grendel. Some mature, mature content. That's a great point. Great point. Yes. Well, the the credits roll after that little family shindig. I know we probably got more notes. Turn so our we'll... expectations I... to a fucking kebab. That's what I wanted to see. That's a good point. I only have a few more notes, and by a few, I mean all on one hand. Okay. Go ahead. Cool. Go ahead. Cool. Did you need to finish something up? No, rapid fire note time, and then we'll get to the post. There's because there are actually post credits in this episode. So yes, we'll get right. to the So Bonnie has braids because she is a Choctaw warrior now in that and barbecue you, scene. And you continue. Oh, cool! Nice. I did punch. My, I didn't call it out that time. I was hoping maybe nobody heard, heard it. I heard oh, it. That, was a, that, that was a that gentle. Was <laughs> I mean, that was an audible one. That was probably one of your loudest. Ones. <laughs> okay, my bad. Oh. All right, okay. Okay. Um. <laughs> Maya is also smiling in that barbecue scene. I know that we mentioned that we didn't we didn't see her smile a whole lot. Such a great smile! In these oh my God, series. Maya yes. remembered how to so smile. Good. I'm so happy this show <laughs> exists. What is that? <laughs> yeah, fuck you, <laughs> loser. <laughs> I just I meant love, to do that. I love I love that Maya is. That's what uh, that's what I was as soon as this episode like this whole if you listen to me in episode one the one thing I asked for is like I just want Maya to smile at the end of all this ah! and I'm so glad they got there okay all right 
all right. Yeah, you hate happiness. You're sad that nobody died. Give me something different. I know. I know. He wants you dead, and I don't know why, because you're amazing. She's talking to her biscuits action figure right now, just by the does, way. Does the ingredients on the side of that can say coating lightning? Keith, you ruined the illusion. We could have had so many YouTube clicks. My oh, goodness. sorry. We'll okay. edit you out. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> It does. It, well, it, it is the heat. It says heat. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. The audio version of that portion, Keith, not you entirely. Keith, come back. <laughs> what? <laughs> I should do the, do the podcast from over here now? Is that what you're no. no, 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 no. I, I, I meant that one portion of the audio. I meant, <laughs> all right, that's what I meant. Sorry. Not you entirely at the show. Sorry. I okay. Know. Yeah, sorry, Amy. More notes. Oh, okay, oh. just uh, three more. All right. Uh, the song at the end is fantastic. Um, yeah. It was yeah. the Very same cool song. song, if I'm not mistaken. It's the same song that they sing at the end of the episode when uh, it's the hymn called "When We Remain." Mm -hmm. I, and I, I was going to look it up. I did not end up having time. I will have the name for you next week. Um that artist does that 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 song is a bop yeah i i agree. do not know the words it is not in the language i know but like when we I remain like... by samantha crane appears yes. twice in the echo series oh twice yeah so we've one. heard it before that's why i like it so much mm -hmm. it's catchy well that's shit. not only why i like it so much but like it was like familiar <laughs> loved <laughs> um i thought I had another just amazing, fantastic thought. Um, so humble. I, I think trains were a running theme in this show. I'm not sure what it means, but it, they were. Explain. <laughs> no, no, we're going to be here for another 30 minutes. Don't explain. Give, no, no, no. Give me high level, high level. How the fuck are trains a running theme in this show? Okay. I don't want a five-page essay. No, not you a five-page essay. Track you're going down, Brandon. I just fuck off, Keith. It's the one thing you do know about a train. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, uh, she puts the the boom boom on the train with biscuits. Right. Uh, episode two. I remember that very well. The train blows up. Yep. Yep. There's the train scene. That's the train for sure. That's the right. that's no train. That one train episode one. Got it. She goes episode over two. train tracks to get to her family at the end of episode five. Whoa. So a tra Keith, don't give it. I live in a. I live in an area, and I've asked Amy this before. You had to cross train tracks to get to my house, didn't you, Amy? Mm -hmm. Does and, and guess what? A train runs through those train tracks. That's how. Yeah, trains yeah. Work. I know. I saw its tracks. That doesn't go. mean my whole life revolves around fucking trains, nor does it mean this show revolves around trains. Okay, Duck. I wasn't I, done yet. Okay, all right, all right. There's more trains. We saw I track, thought, and we saw a train, and I thought at the beginning of the ep or I thought the first episode, I thought they were coming up onto train tracks, but I think I've since talked myself out of it. It was a it was a crossroad, wasn't it? I swear, also very symbolic. I swear, shut the fuck guys. up, Keith. I swear to God. I'm so, I don't know if you're fucking with me to extend this recording just to dick with me and give me no sleep tonight, or if you're just, be, yeah. I don't know right now. I it's feel not like it's just me. More. I truly, I truly thought I had something there and like something about like the, the fact that trains are nomadic. What? What the fuck? That trains trains move around a lot, and that like mm. Maya is looking for a home, just like the trains. Amy, are it's for not home. fair. Fuck off! <laughs> <laughs> You're not as in like. I really, I okay, all right, all right, all right. Can, I swear, can I, if you can, I bring this home. Can I bring this? No, home? no, no, no. Because yes. you're gonna do. The, you know why she's saying yes? Please, please bring I'm this not home. Gonna, I'm not gonna yes and you, Amy. But I'm also not going to yes know you, or no and you, or whatever the whatever the fuck. I'm going to anyway. fuck know you. It is not. <laughs> it's a fuck no. It has nothing.
to do with trains. At the beginning no. of this episode, the first time I watched it at the beginning of this episode, I was like, man, they sure are shooting a lot of shots of Maya driving her motorcycle around ta- t- uh, uh, Tamaha. Tamaha. Um, I almost got it Tamaha, and I want to stop calling it that. It's Tamaha. Um, so they she's driving her motorcycle around Tamaha a lot, trying to decide whether or not to leave. She sees the woodpecker. She goes to the diner, the rocks on, whatever. And she, she decides to stay and fight. And then at the end, she's driving her motorcycle around a lot. You don't know whether or not it is about her leaving after this, you know, mm-hmm. she, maybe she's worried that she's more of a danger to these people than, than she's good. Uh, and then she goes to the cookout. That I liked the parallel, the bookend of the episode, is is seeing her drive around the actual town that they shot in in Oklahoma and have her uh, drive around. That's one of the things I feel uh, would have maybe been served better if there were six episodes. And the fact that we didn't get that and you know, maybe they could have had her driving around at the beginning of, of episode one and then, uh, you know what I'm saying? But yeah, it's, yeah uh, just uh, driving around just no like trains. a train. <laughs> no that's a good point that's a good point and my point is st- stupid we have two I'm more points. we have two more that. points of emmy one more that was that was a combined two Ooh, I guess. Hit or it, you hit it. what's that last point i don't i amy i don't know maybe i combined them i don't know um billy jack is named after yes and i realized it i'm pretty sure that just based on you watching reservoir dogs Res- reservation dogs Reservation Dogs. A spinoff. A, a, a play on the name Reservoir Dogs for sure. Yes. Yes. You watching that and you talking about it. There's a character in that Willie Jack. named Willie Jack. Yeah. Is that yeah. not a... Maybe. Okay. Maybe. I think I think it is. I'm calling it out as it is. Also, <laughs> if, if you're playing a drinking game, I hope you bought a 40. <laughs> And not one of those wimpy little. <laughs> yeah. Make sure your home's safe and sound before. And playing. safe and sound. <laughs> yeah. So on a train or something. We Maybe. see after the credits that there's Kingpin just sitting around, you know, uh, talking about, hey, we need to stabilize the situation before it gets out of control. So wait, so the events, did it matter? Did it not? We still don't fucking know, because he's just talking like we need to stabilize it. Well, why didn't you? What? So who is on a passion project? Cool. Voters want someone who's a fighter. They want someone who knows the pain and frustration they're going through. An outsider. Is that candidate even out there? It could be anybody. Who the brawler? Fuck? Who the fuck wrote this? Who the fuck was like, hey, oh, anyone? I love that they're like literally. Is there anyone that's gonna run for office? All we could want he is- be listening right now on a is train? There- I mean a plane. And he and like I just <laughs> it just was like God, I, I don't know if my my taste buds have changed over time and now I like broccoli or I don't like broccoli. I don't know. No, or broccoli is farts. But I just don't understand like where it's like I, I don't I want to go back to watch phase one, two, and three of the MCU because I can't tell. Is the MCU just been this this writing is just so lack of better words, lazy at times, or is it just my tastes have changed and it's always been this lazy or Marvel just is super lazy now, or it, what is it? But it's just You're like a crashy old man, but it's literally like, Hey, like who, what kind of newscast says we don't have a candidate because we don't have a fighter, man. Is there anyone out there that could fight? Is there anyone that's, that's going to come out? Like just, I just don't understand it. I just don't understand it. It's like they're they're forcing this. I just think there's a better way to get this end result of what they're trying to do than this. It just, I, I can think, I just, I feel like Marvel, they just, this is still the tail end of the problem. This is like where they cranked out a bunch of shows and I apologize, here we go on a big rant. But like, I feel like this, this once again, if we go back to a movie or show every, you know, four or five months, and really develop these shows or movies every four or five months, as opposed to here's 20 of them. We're going to go back to back to back to back to back to back to back. Hope you like it. Uh, it just, because this, it just, someone's working and they're like, gosh, just fucking have someone on a newscast talk about, Hey, we need a, we need a fucking mayor and like, who's going to step up and let's just get it out there. And Oh yeah, that sounds good. Okay. I don't know everything about this show. I'm done. 
Join us next week at twitch.tv forward slash adventures podcast if you want to yell at Brandon for being such a wet blanket. Oh, me. I want to do that. Sorry. No, I was a, I was a wet blanket for what if, so I can't be that mean. Um, crazy, man. But, okay, you're saying that that writing was not great. And I was thinking, oh, shit, that's a little close to home. And I think I've heard that in the last few years. And, but. Gross. I don't think they ever said who is going to run. No, is there they didn't anyone say that they can didn't help say us. That. Is he a fighter? That. But like the whole like were, they they don't want politicians. They want somebody outside. That that, that little bit was like. Ugh. Okay, I can see that. I can see that. Yeah, like that's too. It it, it wasn't that it was written the way it was that it was real life and put into a marvel movie and i was like no no god no <laughs> the way that kingpin though just stares at the tv and he just gets closer and he's like <gasps> <gasps> could it be me <laughs> it's just like are they talking to me oh. am i the main character of the story <laughs> hold on a second uh instead of stabilizing uh situation i think i might just run for office <laughs> like what Oh man, what if he like ended the last line in that scene was just like, "What kind of bulk deal can we get on buttons?" Yeah, like, I would have <laughs> shit. I would have loved that. So I can, I can shake hands and kiss babies, right? And and be Give a candidate. Yeah, right, he would crush babies, not on purpose. He would uh, like my lips, like from my cement, kissing them to death. Um, <laughs> sorry, sorry. I, <laughs> I got dark. I feel like though that the fact that he immediately is like, we have to call all of the people who are still what is he calls them heads, right? Like the heads of the, oh, the family, yeah, the the, the mob family, yeah, the heads, and mm. make sure that we what like <laughs> re-systemize. That's not what he calls Stabilize. it. They're they're they're, he's afraid that they're finding him weak because he was not only allegedly dead but he also like left for a passion project well and i (laughs) i feel like that means that whatever echo tried to do that people are saying like weakened him and like made him soft or whatever didn't work he's right he's back on his plane being the crime boss that he's always been what was the point of the third act with that moment of what did you i don't know it shocked him (laughs) Yeah, it shocked okay. him and he well, was like fuck you got into my head so literally you can either tell a beautiful story of like hey this is a pivotal moment that maybe will change or transform him but then the next scene you can't be like oh fuck it he's yeah he's he's not maybe he's too far gone maybe she can't heal him maybe he's so broken that he's maybe unfixable she should, maybe you should I, write a better story i honestly i think, think that, that is a good what... story what she did to him will change him for a time. I just think she didn't really hold it's on not, to his head long yeah. enough. But she, he will be probably just like Mantis and Thanos. You, you gotta <laughs> keep him asleep. Doesn't matter how much Chris Pratt is slapping him in the face saying, "No, you didn't." <laughs> I think it's like be a, a Saturday big... night. You gotta hold the head as long as it takes. Yeah, you may be getting slapped around, but you just hold that head. <laughs> I think. I think it'll be a big part of obviously Daredevil Born Again, where we see Kingpin is not the villain that Daredevil is expecting, and he will be distrusting of that for the entire series. And you won't, maybe they won't reveal that he's actually got a bad uh, ulterior motives. Maybe it'll be a long time, but we'll all be sitting there going, he's still bad. Come on. Yeah. Come on, guys. Who's, who's, what lights are he, is he going to turn on with, with hostages next? (laughs) Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Fire yeah. my light guy. It's a, it's it a game show now. This time I installed three lights. I hope you <laughs> enjoy. Um, yeah, thank you so much. If you've listened to this podcast all the way through, you're a champ. You're you, I I I appreciate you, and I know I've been unbearable and I apologize. But hey, we love you. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. If you'd like to we support still love you, Brandon. I pre- I'm do. sorry. No, long. you're. I mean, you know, it's just the norm. It, it, um... <laughs> I'm Remember so, Loki? I, you I, love Loki. Do, I punched my mic. I... <laughs> that was that was karma for that slut. So we are going. <laughs> I please know that I have given Brandon consent to call me a slut. <laughs> that, that makes it sound worse. 
<laughs> He's not calling me a slut out of balance. No, it's benevolence. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's a funny joke. Also good. <laughs> hey, call Don't come friends. after him for that shit. If you love you sluts. Yeah, you can call your friends that you love sluts. That's what you can do. Don't call people that don't want to be called sluts. Sluts. Don't do that, right? Sluts? All right. But what's Stop. the best way to find out which kind of person they are, right? You got to test it. Well, you ask. <laughs> you, you ask, hey, slut, you mind if I call you slut? And they're oh, like, no. Like, LOL, why'd you call me slut? But yeah, that's fine. <laughs> slut. And then <laughs> it keeps going. Best friend fun. for life. We are going to return back to Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash Avengers podcast. Guys, next Friday, if you're listening to this before Friday, February 16th, you're in luck. We are going to be live on Twitch discussing what if and echo. So we're going to do a kind of a combination podcast. We'll record it for our audio listeners. However, if you want to join us live on air, talk with us as we stream, we're very involved with our chat. We love talking to our chat and we love hearing from you. So twitch.tv forward slash Avengers podcast. You'll get to see an episode of the podcast live with us talking. We'd love to have you there. So check it out. Patreon, get ready because we're going to put a post out there for your thoughts on Echo and What If. You can leave your thoughts on Echo, What If, or both. Leave it in the comments. We'll probably separate them both out so we can have each one kind of be dedicated. We'll probably have a first half of the show, What If, second half of the show, uh, Echo, and hey, maybe we'll even have some quiplash at the end and have a good old time. So, Oh, jo- good. I found my wet blanket. Good, 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 good. I thought I'd lost it. You hate quiplash? Oh, no. Uh, what If. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, I no. remember those weeks. <laughs> yes. So, I don't. I blocked them out of my memory. So it's funny because... <laughs> One of us is always going to be unhappy the entire time. So enjoy it. Uh, But we cannot (laughs) wait to be live back on Twitch for you all. We hope you will join us. So, yeah. And patrons, get ready to post your thoughts. We'd love to hear from you on any of those shows. uh, And it should be a good, good, fun time. So if you want to support the show, like the show, patreon.com forward slash Avengers podcast. One dollar gets you access to our Discord. Exclusive episodes not found anywhere else. And you can also get uh pre-show banter we do that every single episode 30 minutes before the show you just get to hear us being us talking about our week it's actually my favorite time to record and it's usually the most fun just kind of literally out there a little bit more of our personality shining through if you can imagine that so uh check out (laughs) patreon.com forward slash a pictures podcast uh don't have a dollar every single month no problem a quick free way to support the show is a five-star rating on your podcast platform of choice you can go to spotify or apple podcasts and leave a five-star rating promise you it goes a long way with us getting eyes and ears on the show you don't have to agree with us every single time we completely understand but if we made you laugh made you think or you really enjoyed the content or you just want to continue to see this show grow a quick free easy way to support the show is a five-star rating on your podcast platform of choice Uh, another thing about spotify that's really cool you can leave a comment let us know what you think of the show had a really, really cool comment. Uh, and also, we got a great five-star uh, review for, on Apple saying simply the best. Fuck yeah. You're awesome. Uh, <laughs> so appreciate it. Uh, oh, thank yeah. you. So, yeah. Appreciate you all supporting the show. We will be back next week on Twitch. And then, hey, join us after we get done recording. We'll do some Quiplash, which is a fun game that we play with our listeners. And I promise you, if you like playing games and you like three mediocre hosts, <laughs> you're going to have a great fucking time because we all have a fucking blast. Two mediocre hosts. Sorry, uh, Emmy and 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 Keith. I'm fine. Okay, so oh, uh, fuck so you. so, uh, but yeah, no, it's gonna be fun. It's gonna be fun. It's gonna be great. Cannot wait for next week. We love you all. We really appreciate it. But before we head on out, we have one last credits name to get. Oh, to. motherfucker! We have three. <laughs> all right, I all right. I just wanted to be done. I, I know, just... I know, I know, I know. So I'm just going to go over it real quick. All right, ready. Second assistant accountant is Anna Buttermore. Hey. You like more butter on everything. Yes, please. Anna, Anna Buttermore. That's how I order my green beans. Green beans, Anna Buttermore. <laughs> That's pretty good. Ah, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> All right. Uh, our, okay. Our greens gang bosses. This is literally how it was. Okay. This is how they're titled in the credits of Echo. I don't know what that job is, but I want it. Amazing. Uh, is William Tripp. Oh, no. William Tripp? Did anybody check on him? 
Is he hurt? <laughs> all right, all right, all right. And our our purchasing four person is Eric the Young. Hi, Eric the Young. I'm Emmy the Old. Holy! Yeah, I laughed at two out of three of those, and I'm ashamed. Buttermore and <laughs> in the Young. All right. <laughs> Sometimes it's not about the name. It's about Emmy's <laughs> shitty delivery that somehow makes it funny. And it's uh, her own right. healing powers. She's just she's gonna heal yep. your brain, brain. And the whole time I'm like you. every yeah, time sure. she makes me laugh with it, I'm like, what did you do? Uh so we're out of here. Eric the Young. <laughs> Thank you um, so much. That was three, Emmy. Fuck off. I know. Well, I love that they gave gratitude to the Choctaw Nation for partnering with yes. them in this Agreed. project. I I thought that was a really nice touch. Thank you. Eric DeYoung. No, Emmy the old. No. We're out. Thank you we so much. We get together. We'll see you next week. Boy, you, boy, you single? Join us on Twitch. Twitch.tv forward slash Avengers podcast. We're heading out of here. Thank you so much. We love you all. Despite how wet of a blanket some of us can be. And by some of us, I mean me. We're out of here. Emmy Keith, any final words? Before we call it an echo series. Skoden, I... watch Reservation Dogs. It's fucking great. Check that show out. I can't wait for the next episode of this season. Episode six. Episode six. Episode six. Yep. <laughs> Cannot wait. Episode six. Episode six. Episode six. You guys are as radiant yeah. as the sun shining out of my ass. <laughs> What am I, am I supposed to act like shocked? Oh my god! I punched my mic again. 